Yeah. 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 So many lies that you hear from the net, they don't get her respect. She report in the truth, not a check. You want to unbiased opinion straight from the chest. Not a bit of conflict or someone here for a check. Tune in, these are thoughts from a lawyer on a mission who goes so hard. It's like she works on commission. Trolls in the comments might say she tripping because they lack the knowledge. They don't know they missing. Got a couple current events that you like. Want to know about law from the eyes. Tired of all these blogs running lies Because they agendas are disguise Tune in to the intellect Cause I'm sure y'all missing All the facts of the case That she steady is gifted Someone here for the people Man, it's so uplifting If you ain't subscribed yet Then you just omitting facts And, and, and another thing you notice, the first thing they say, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. That's yeah. what it's all about. After they get them dogs and you out of it, before they dog you out, that's the first thing they say. If you like this video, make sure you hit. You have one minute on. remaining. Hello, everyone. Happy Saturday. It is Pam Esquire, also known as Your Law Intellect. Welcome to all the intellects. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here rocking with your girl for a while, welcome back. I am here today despite my fatigue and tiredness because I've had several intellects that wanted me to weigh in on a hearing that just occurred earlier this week with Ernest Williams. For those of you that don't know who Ernest Williams is, I don't know where you've been. I don't know where you've been. I don't know how you don't know who he is, but that is the estranged husband or the incarcerated husband of Shirley Strawberry, who was the co-host of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Since I went to New York for the last three weeks to try to cover a case, um, Lamore Whitehead, apparently the YouTube streets have been cutting up. I guess Sonya says she don't want no more of this. She says she's over it. She got mad at some of the conversations, you know, that were had on those calls. And she said she was out. You know, she liked to put the peace fingers up. She said she was out and she's not coming back. So everybody was like, Pam, what do you think about what Sonia said? That's what I think about. I think personally, and this is just my opinion, I believe that there were several other real reasons as to which one wouldn't want to talk to Ernest Williams besides what she gave. But hey, it ain't my business. I'm over here to talk about the law. And the law is what we shall talk about today. So make sure you guys hit that like button on the way in. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And um, we are going to discuss some... I know a lot of platforms or the platforms that have covered this. Shout out to Grown Woman Vibes and the Bougie Gang have covered this already. You know, your girl's a little late. I'm behind a little bit. But many of you guys still wanted me to give my opinion on what happened or what I believe happened when it came to Ernest Williams and um, the last hearing that was, I guess, an impromptu hearing because it was an add on. So that was one of the reasons why a lot of us probably did not know about it. Plus, I don't really check Fulton County that much anymore because since they've been hacked, my computer is like, eh, 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 you have too much too much information on here that's confidential. You cannot and you will not go on this Fulton County site. So it's hard for me to even get on there anyway because my computer blocks it. Patty Patty said, so glad you're back. I am so glad to be back. I am so glad to be back. And thank you guys so much for all of your continued support. I appreciate it. I didn't even bring my phone down here. But what are we talking about? Let's get right to it because I know it's a Saturday. Some of you guys are resting on this here Saturday and um, I don't want to disturb your rest. But I did want to talk to you about this last hearing and what we are talking about. We know that Ernest Williams has seven cases and when we had the hearing on February 5th, we streamed it here. And on that hearing, one of the charges, which was one of the more egregious charges, because most of them are financial crimes, 
was related to child pictures. Well, we all were like, you know, your girl was rewinding it over and over again because the judge, Judge Manning was talking so fast. And we were there to see if he was going to get a reduction in bond. And it turned out that one of the charges ended up being dismissed. So I'm going to play that real quick so we can, um, let me see. Uh, let me see. We had that over here. I just want to reiterate what we were talking about. So this is what happened on February 5th, my birthday. And we streamed the actual bond hearing for Ernest Williams. We got to give a little context before we get into what just happened a few days ago. Good evening. All right, we got Ernest Williams. Let's position 9, 10, and 11. And I think there's a consent. And Ms. Winfrey, you've said that position 9 is going to be a dismissal? That's correct, Your Honor. All right, so 23 CP 215407 is going to be a dismissal. So you guys hear Judge Manning said it was a dismissal. And I couldn't hear not a thing. So I was rewinding it. Some of you intellects were... Um, <laughs> Put it on slow mo so we could hear to see what it was, and it in fact was the CP charge. So everybody was rejoicing because of this dismissal. But let's let's hear the rest of them because that wasn't the only case. There were some reductions, some consent judgments, consent bonds that happened in this as well. For those of you that have been calculating what his bond is, so we'll listen to that. We got position ten twenty three CP two two zero. 091, three counts of theft by deception felony, and 23 CP 220152, three counts of financial transaction card fraud, and one count of theft by deception felony. Ms. Rondon, and y'all came up with some sort of agreement? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, for position 10, the case that ends in 091, the state and I have agreed to a $6,000 total bond with uh, a no contact with the victim, an ankle monitor, and a condition to surrender his passport. For position 11, which ends in 152, we have uh, consented to an $8,000 total bond with the same conditions as the previous position, no contact with the victim, surrender of the passport, and an ankle monitor. All right, so on the one uh, position 10 ending in 0091, got stay away from 1064 park road okay you guys get the picture so that's pretty much what happened thank you analytical one i appreciate that um and welcome stephanie we got a new member welcome so much to the intellect i appreciate your support um so yeah this is where it all began and we were like what you guys have to watch this video this is my video um as you see the title, Ernest Williams bond hearing lies, CP charges dropped and theft charges lowered. So that's pretty much what happened in a, in song. And everybody was like, wait, what? What had happened? What? And we were trying to figure out what happened. So people were asking me on that day, does, you know, why is it gone? I said, well, if it's without prejudice, if you guys recall, I said they can bring it back. I wasn't. You know, I'm sure that it was a, it can be a temporary victory, but unless there's a statute of limitation, that's up with, they can't bring it back or the prosecution decided to dismiss with prejudice, they can bring that whenever they want to. And we discussed that actually on that day. So then, was it earlier this week? Phone calls from prison. You know, folks was doing the, the victory lap. This was this was the jail call after the hearing. Folks was doing the victory lap and everything. So let, let's let's talk about let's let's watch that real quick. Hello. How's your day going? It's going good now. It's <laughs> going good now. Well, I want to say thank you for saving my life. Thank you for saving my life. I wrote her. I wrote her today. Huh? They can't. They won't let you on a tablet no more. She said. Yeah. Why is that? I don't understand that either. Okay, that didn't make no sense. No, that didn't make no sense to me. Mm -mm. Not at all. But hey, you got court coming up in a couple weeks. Let's see what happens. Wow. Oh, okay. I, I, I sit there and cry for at least ten minutes. I can't get wrong. Man, I just, I 
I, I just can't believe. I want to do all of this. I just can't believe. Yep. I'm to just think about yep. everything. Mm-hmm. Yep. All of this shit. All this unnecessary shit. Dirty's your face. Dirty's your face. In the ground. Yeah. Well, yep. I, do, I do thank you for saving my life. Uh, I thank uh, Hannah for listening and believing. Did she do good? She did good to me. Okay, that's all that matters. She spoke on uh, everything. Oh, you didn't see? No, I got to look at it. Listen, they called me um, screaming. <laughs> Okay. I was asleep. <laughs> what? So, yeah, Sylvia called me. So, um, I didn't see it. I got to look at it. And then my brother just called me, my little young brother. I was on the phone with him. Come on, the one in Miami. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's, it's really not there like that. Yeah, because I got so many text messages on Instagram talking about, see, now what they going to say. Now what them haters going to say. I was like... <laughs> Hey, I guess a lot of people was watching. What? A lot of people was watching, yep. Sonya, who DM'd you and said that? We would have known. Put up the screenshot. Send it to me, girl. They was like, now what some hater-ass girls going to say? You going on live? I know you going to go on live. I'm like, eh, I got to drop the baby off first because she be loud. Come on. I'm going to take her to her mama. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah, I had to cry about 10 minutes, man. I, I Man, that shit was just really? like that. And for me, no, no, I'm telling you, it really got me was well, for me to see um, the DA, the head DA there, the black lady. I forgot. Oh, Danny was there? No, the other lady who be over there, uh, that was in the courtroom last time. The one told uh -huh. me. Um, yeah, Fanny going to be over there at uh, Ernest Williams' unindicted case. I mean, come on. <laughs> it didn't matter. She pulled that book out talking about hearsay. Um, and for her to sit here and say she dropped it, that shit just blow my mind. And and the prayer that I had with Sylvia, uh, mm -hmm. all of that. And on top of that, I just seen it laid on TV three months ago. The center man gave life for the same shit. So all that shit ran through my head at the same time. Mm -hmm. Everything went through my head. And, uh, I just thank God. I just thank God. I just thank God. I, just, I can't let nobody tell me what he ain't done for me. Mm. And like mm -hmm. I said, thank you. That's what that girl saying too. One of the girls, she was like, prayer work. Because I, I was a couple people that was praying for you. <laughs> that reached out to me. What? Dr. Whipple that was praying for you. Hmm. A lot of people. Interesting. I a lot of people. It. It's a lot of people that um that, that's on, you know, on your team, you know. That ain't what the GoFundMe said, but you guys go off. Go ahead. We just look at the evidence. You know what I'm saying? The evidence, the evidence shows, as Claire Huxtable said, let the evidence show that nobody really supported you on that GoFundMe. But y'all go, because you know, a prayer without works is dead. Y'all don't pray for me. If I say I'm hungry, I'm going to need you to go give me a plate of food or something. Don't just pray for me. I'm going to need you to do a little bit more. So if this man was in need and you guys was all praying and having prayer chains and circles, it should have been a little bit more donations. That's all I'm saying. But that's just my opinion. Let's pussy. I get a lot of a lot of text messages, a lot of emails. It's, it's a lot of people. It's it's it's, it's people that want to hate. I don't, I don't feel like half of them sincerely hate. They're just jumping on the hate train because it's just some type of therapy for them or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. But um, this, you know, let's hope everything go like it's supposed to on the twenty third. Yeah, uh, I already reached out. I told him they better get them text messages and them phone calls because he wasn't nowhere around to even uh, he didn't even know the girl. So um, let's get that going. Well, we ain't got to go through. Yeah, they, they they got whatever. Wait a minute, now he ain't know the girl. I thought she, he knew his dad. He knew her father, and they known each other for years. No, I, I don't know. Whatever's going on out there, whatever you got going on, I mean, you know, I'm just saying, all I'm telling you right now is that I got this a true testament for me. Mm -hmm. And like I said, thank you so very much for believing in me. You never stop believing in me from day one. 
I, I look at character. I look at character. I look at character. That's why. You know, people, I tell you, people listen to words and they don't think about the person and the person's actions and how they move. They just go, right, oh, you know, oh, it's got to be true. They wouldn't have just, you know, and then I'm like, no, mm-mm, that's not how they're doing. I said, no. He ain't have to, I said, he ain't that type of person. He's too passive. He ain't that type of person on anything. So a per- person's behavior is going to be the same across the board. You know, if a person is aggressive with this, they're going to be aggressive with that. They're going to be strong arming on this. They're going to be strong arming on that. And I was like, that ain't his personality, you know. Hmm. Well, so. like I said, thank you again. Uh, thank you so very much. So tell me, I say thank you for the prayers as well. I just met the lady. I, I just met the lady for <laughs> 30 minutes. All right. Uh, All right. So. I just want to say thank you again so very much. Man, I know the rest of us going to, that truth going to come out. Uh, like I said, I ain't mad at nothing. I'm not. The truth going to come out. So when it's coming I'll out. I'll be mad for you. That's some bullshit. No. <laughs> well, what I'm saying. I'll be mad that, for you. I mean, uh, what I'm saying is that I just, uh, right now, I ain't got nothing to say right now. I just got to Hello. Work. Hello. Say thank you, Buster. So Nestle said he want to say thank you. That's real good. Oh, how you doing? The power of God, man. The power of God. <laughs> hey, look here. God did it. Look here. God did it. Yes, he did. And I want to say thank you so very I only met you 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And I want to say I told you that God sent you some kind of way. And I want to say thank you again for your time. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. You are so welcome. You know, you know the calls are being listened to, so they know I'm yeah. on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. What did what, what, what you say? No, the, 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 the YouTube be on the call. We ain't worried about that. We know. We ain't thinking about that. Well, Some well, else for them to talk about. Well, I'll just say Thank you for your prayer, because that prayer is real, and if you believe in God, and if you tell the truth, the truth is going to come out. And if you're a good person and tell the truth at the same time, it it's going to come out. So for me to see uh, a lawyer sitting there, and you pray for the lawyer, and you say, hope that she get all the tools that she needs to prevail for me. She's done that. Amen. Yeah. So, Amen. I don't, think I, hear, I don't think I didn't hear the words in the prayer because I listen very well. I don't talk good, but I listen very well. And like I told Sonya, I want to say thank you to the DA because the DA, I seen that little prosecutor boy on TV and sitting down the road with two life sentences. For me to see this woman on TV today and she's saying she dismissed my charges, that one number God for real right now. There's nobody but God. Nobody but God. So thank you. You have to remember that, and you know he's gonna do more too. You just watch. Yeah, God's gonna work it out, all of it. Yeah. Yes, he is. So thank you. Uh, I didn't tell you. I said that after that, I came out the room because you know, sorry for my voice. I'm just so excited right now. Um, <laughs> I come out the room. I come out the room and I was mm-hmm. out by 10, 15 minutes. I couldn't help but sit there and let it all out because that's been, that's been, it's been a hell of a ride. A hell of a ride. Amen. 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 It is what happens when you're obedient to God. The power of, you know, God is powerful. Oh, you got to say, and um, I wanted to, I was telling them that people were unsubscribing to my channel because I said I went there and I prayed for you. So I was like, that's okay. okay. The good people will come on. The bad people are gonna go fall off. Some of the right ones just fall off. Uh, it's, a lot of, it's, it's a lot of people need Jesus now. I'm trying to tell you now. I see mm-hmm. him there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm sticking on that. Yeah. Man, I, got a lot of, I got a lot of tests filed. Mm. So thank you Amen. very much. So you got a testimony. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm. You're absolutely <laughs> welcome. <laughs> yes. All right, well, you yeah, know, well, that, I know was excited. I know you was excited when you, when you heard that. They dropped the charge. 
Well, I was kind of, to be honest with you, it was, it was kind of scary because I ain't got nothing good since I've been here. So it was kind of like, oh, here we go again. So it was like known to me for, for a minute. Then uh, the lawyer, she stood up and said, I'm coming to see you. So I looked back, I'm like, wow, okay. So it, it started getting a little red in. But when I went out there and started crying, I'm a grown man. I don't cry for nothing. But I had to let them tears go out today. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> I let them tears go out Whew. Got some more crying to do tonight. So. That's right, dude. You just gonna be praising him. Just praise God, cause God did it. God did it. Yes, He did. Yes, He did. He worked a miracle. He worked a miracle for you. So, thank you again. You enjoy your evening. Yeah, you too. You welcome. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, you keep on talking. You keep on got them getting it to him on God. Now they don't want this shit now. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, to come on in now. I'm telling you. I hung up right. with I hung up with just now. My knees, my knees. How are your knees doing? How are my knees or your knees doing? But my one knee bad, but you had both, your, both your knees was messed up before you went to bed. Well, no, so. they won't, they, they, they was hurt, but guess what? Uh, when I got back into this dormitory, the LA wants to start dancing again. I forgot her for a few minutes again, then I said, hold up for her, my damn self. Let me chill for a minute. You know what I'm saying? You know you're out. Yeah. Well, you know you're out. <laughs> yeah. You know you're out. You know you're pushing 50. You know you're up there. Okay. You know you're up there, boy. Man, I tell you. It ain't yeah, over, but it's half over. Yeah, that's right. That's right. But it's coming, though. It's, man, God's good. Mm-hmm. 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 Wow. Yep, you know, hopefully they'll get those records. They get those records by the time we go to court. You good. Oh, I know that for a fact. Yeah. Oh, you real good. They get them, they get them records. Oh my gosh. I already put it out there though to the judge. I already told her. You know, I'm just waiting. They got to get the records. So, sheesh. Oh, and this, then it's a done deal. So, look that. Up. Run that. It's okay, you go, you go ahead and finish that one tale going on, and you go ahead and, and, and get the baby straightened out and well, get set together. I'm going to drop her off so I can, right, so I can start packing because I am not together. All right, so I, I hit but you back I'll, hit you back yeah, I'll be, 10.30. All right, I'll be back by then. Okay, bye. Thank you so very bye. much. Thank you so <laughs> very much. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, no. hey. What is he thanking her for exactly? I was pretty confused on all these thinking. Did she take over the case? Did she get sworn in to the Georgia State Bar and she became I know I know we call her, you know, Sonia Cochran, but did she somehow get her bar card in between now and then and took over the case? I don't understand what the thinking is for. Okay. They made me short, but they made me powerful. <laughs> hey, that what old boy said. Boy said that. Old boy said that she might be little, but she's something else. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe small. But you know where they short you, they give you other other strength. Yeah. So that's how that go. Boy, God got a lot of work for me to do. He got some more work for me to do now. Mm-hmm. Man, all right. I love you very, very much. So very much. Thank you so very much. <laughs> Yeah, all right. I'm fighting for you. I'm fighting. All right. I'm going okay. And as I said on the video when we first watched the bond hearing, they dismissed the charge. If it was done without prejudice, if it was no lay pros, then they can bring it back whenever they want to. Although I can understand the relief because you're always hoping they don't bring it back. But I just find it interesting that when, remember, there were two cases that were indicted before. They were actually two of the cases that were indicted. He started out with nine. Two of those cases were no lay pros. But there was a whole lot of the attorney didn't do it and all that. Attorney ain't getting no props for that. But this time, all of a sudden, everybody getting props, I guess, for this one being dropped. Again, when you have something that is no lay props or done without prejudice or there's no statutory limitation, 
that has expired, you always run the risk of it coming back. Well, apparently, let me let me read this real quick. NJ Fly said, just curious, was there a class on people with mental illness in law school? Well, when you have, <laughs> I don't even know how to take this question, but I'm going to answer it to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for the super chat. When you are in school, you do have certain classes of which they let you know that a lot of things that, especially crimes that occur are related to mental illness. And so that's why you have, in Michigan, we have guilty but mentally ill, aside from insanity, those type of pleas. Uh, or you have where, of course, individuals have to, if you, to, to see if they're competent to stand trial, competency hearings, things of that nature. So you do realize a lot of times people are arrested is because they have mental health issues or they have some type of sociopathic type behavior and you get experts for that. But just like how to deal psychologically, I know they call us attorney and counselors, but sometimes I still look at some people a little side eye with some of the things they do. I am unique. You said, Pam, I love you very, 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 you know what? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I'm not doing this with you guys today. I'm not. Thank you so much for all of the love. <laughs> Well, okay, this is this is the thing. When it came to the two charges that got dropped, those were credit card repair and something else. Those two ch charges that got dropped. In the motion, it did say in there, this is how you this is how you have to know that they can bring it back. This is a prime example when those charges were dropped. The prosecutor in the motion, when they dropped it, they gave their reasoning as to why they dropped it. And they basically was pretty much saying this is bigger than us. And because there's so much going on, we are going to refer that to the special unit. That's what they said as their reasoning to drop it. So that within itself would let you know that they can bring it back if they want to. But apparently, you know, we want to believe what we want to believe. Thank you so much, Carol Morton, for the super sticker. And Alan, Speed, Pam, thanks for your legal expertise. Appreciate you. I appreciate your support and I appreciate the $1.99 super chat. I appreciate that. But I'm just saying from a legal standpoint, let's just think, we always think analytically over here. When we looked at the dismissal before for those two cases that were indicted, in the motion to dismiss, the, the state basically said, we're going to let this go to special units. That's what they said their reasoning for dismissal was. And it was no lay pros. That they obviously gave the indication that they can bring it back if they want to. And to, this was no different. This was no different when it came to this case. That's why I was letting you know if it was no lay pros, dismissed without prejudice, whatever way it was dismissed, um, then they can bring it back if they want to. So then I'm going to go over here to uh, the bougie gang. She, she recorded. I was doing the other case with Whitehead. When she did this hearing, it was it was a pop up hearing or uh, one add on is what they call them. And let me see. So let me do this. Shout out to Real Talk Bougie. I'm going to just use her. So y'all go over there and subscribe if you have not done so already. This is she actually streamed the hearing. And she discussed this already. So this is from her channel. So this is the hearing that you guys are referring to from March 11th, 2024. Uh, one through five, I think. One through four. One through four. Uh, 22 CP 210 500. There's a, uh, right now I've got 610 days. Without indictment, there's a $5,000 good bond on theft by deception. 22 CP 211078, 610 days, $15,000 good bond on three counts of conspiracy to commit a felony. Then on position three, 
22 CP 212559. 610 days without indictment, a $25,000 good bond on one, two, three, four, five counts of conspiracy to commit a felony. And then on position four, 23 CP 215407, uh, 610 days without indictment, there's a $700,000 good bond on 4C. Okay, time's out, Judge Manning. I did say without prejudice, right? If I said with prejudice, that was wrong, but it was dismissed without prejudice, then they can bring it back, just to correct myself if I said with prejudice. Kay Bonita said, Pam, is it normal to send the judge notes as much as Sonia is saying she has? You don't have ex parte communication. I don't know what you're referring to, but you can, whatever you send, say if you send something to a judge, they're probably nine times out of 10 going to file it because you can't have ex parte communications. That's why when Nesto sent the letter that we read when he was trying to get his transcripts and all of that, it got filed. Any communication is going to be filed for, or the other side has to has to see it. You can't have ex parte communication. Let me get back. Yes, dismissed without prejudice. You can bring the charges back, correct? With prejudice, then you can't bring it back. Whack charges. Wow. He love her job. Yes, Your Honor. 20 cycles with a rest out of Georgia and Kentucky, a 2006 felony conviction for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, theft by receiving stolen property, also a 2006 conviction for false statements, and a 2005 conviction out of Kentucky for bank fraud. In addition to the cases on the calendar, there are three additional open cases, Your Honor. A CWAC case under 23 CP. 219961. Death by deception, three counts. That's under case number 23 CP 220091. And the third case is death by deception, financial transaction card for it, three counts under 23 CP 220152. Nothing further, Your Honor. All right, go ahead, Ms. Rondon. Good evening, Judge. Um, for position one on the add-on calendar, um, the state and I have been able to come to a consent bond. Um, so for 22 CP 210500, the bond that we've agreed to consent to is $3,000 with the following conditions. An ankle monitor to surrender uh, his passport and to have no contact with the named victim. Position two uh, for 22 CP 211078. We've consented to a 9,000 total bond with the same conditions as the previous case. Ankle monitor, surrender the passport, and no contact with the named victim. For position three, which is 22 CP 212559, we have agreed to a $15,000 total bond with the same conditions. Ankle monitor, surrender passport, and no contact with the named victim. Um, and also no contact with Erica Hewley um, or AKA Erica King. Um, and then additionally judge for position four, which is 23 CP 215 407. The last time we were in court for this case, the state announced that it was dismissed um, through a decline to prosecute. And so um, I'm a little confused why this case is back on the calendar. I didn't see a dismissal on this one. Your Honor, I can speak to that. As to 23 CP 215407 at our last hearing, the state did move to null process or to decline those that particular case. Uh, we will just revive that case in an indictment. Okay. So, okay, so, so was the dis because I didn't see the dismissal filed yet. Um, I, I did not file one, Your Honor. Should I send you a? Oh, okay. No, as long as you file, because I looked at it today and I didn't see the indictment. That's why. Okay, so. All right, they'll dismiss it now, sir. Just so you know, um, they can also, uh, if she says they're going to revive it in an indictment, they could uh, indict your case and then uh, re-arrest you on a grand jury warrant, just so you know. 
Okay, and I don't know about the case in front of Judge Edwards or the other indicted cases, if you've got bonds or what's happened with those. All right, Judge, best of luck. Judge, uh -huh. for, the, for the consent bond, will Miss He didn't look and say nothing. He just was like, what just happened? Trying to be preparing those consent bonds and submitting those to the court. And then... Miss Robinson, you read my mind. I was about to say I can prepare them and submit them this evening. Okay. And then for the case, I know she said the dismissal order for position four. Is Miss Winfrey going to submit a dismissal order um, for that one? Just so we have something. Otherwise, the case is just going to stay open. If your honor would prefer that I send something, I will do that. Okay. Let's see. What is. Yeah. Or. Will it be something you need me to sign? Um, I don't think those get signed by me, do they? No. Well, first, the parents, if it's a, if they know a process, but, okay. Right. Well, if it's something you need me to sign, if you just want to email it to me. Okay. All right, sir. Like, like I said, if they do an indictment, they can do a direct indictment and issue a grand jury warrant. They can rearrest you on that. I don't know the status of your other cases because you have some indicted. I know there's one that's in front of Judge Williams. So um, this won't have any effect on any of those. Best of luck to you, sir. You can leave the booth. Your Honor, that concludes my business. May I be excused? Yeah. And so, for those of you that weren't paying attention to the bond amounts, I know some of you guys were uh, calculating <laughs> in your buy. So, there is one case that um, he had a $5,000 bond on, it ends in 0610. That got reduced to 3,000. So it was reduced to 2,000, reduced by $2,000. Then he had the CP case that ended in, I think it was 078. That was like a $15,000 bond that got reduced to nine. Then there was a in the position three ended in five five nine. It was a fifteen thousand total bond, but it that was reduced by ten thousand because that was a twenty five thousand dollar bond. <clears throat> and then of course number four, they said they was gonna bring it back. Then he still has the four hundred and five thousand dollar bond for the RA case. So basically now all of his bonds look like they are under. 500,000. So he's gotten under a half a million dollars on his bonds. And in the hearing that we streamed for the SA case that, well, we didn't stream it. Dennis video recorded it and we had it over here. Um, it sounds like they are going to indict. His cases are going to go before the grand jury next month in April. So that means According to this DA, she said all of them are going to go before the grand jury. So we'll see if the grand jury believes that there is probable cause in order to indict on all of these cases. So by next month, I guess we'll get some action if they really actually go before the grand jury. Now, allegedly, some people were told that they were supposed to go before the grand jury before it never happened. This is the first time I've actually heard it on this hearing. So I'm just going to go by what madam da had to say ada had to say because you know that's the first time i've heard it but anybody got any more questions because you guys have been dming i just want to make sure i answer your questions um well if he can get pam best case scenario how much cash so he has good bonds. So in theory, he can go to a bail bondsman and then he only have to pay whatever percentage the bail bondsman requires. Or he can come up with what he need to come up with. Was that total amount? Angel, Angel Gray said, why do they keep reducing his bonds because he has not been indicted or what? So the longer that you're in jail, they usually do reduce them because oftentimes... Because it's it's like, so this is this is also a civil rights issue in some places. I know we had it where I was at, where if you get certain people that have money with the same offenses you have, but you don't have money, they can get out, but you can't get out because you don't have the money and the resources. 
one of the individuals, I think it was the guy with the bed bugs that, that died in um, Fulton County that got eaten with by the bed bugs. He was in there for, I think they said 25 days or something. And he only had a couple of hundred dollars, you know, like his bond wasn't that high, whatever it was. Um, so I think what they do is they try to give you chance after chance. The longer you've been in there, they just keep reducing it because it becomes, when does it become fundamentally unfair, I guess? Um, because the next person has money and you don't. So I know like we had an issue here in one of our courts where the judge was one of those people that was like, you got till four o'clock. Cause our court rule said, if you are fine, something you got to pay today. So if the judge says you're fine, $2,000 for this parking violation or whatever it was, you better, you got till four o'clock. He'll let you sit in the corner and get your cell phone and call whoever you can to try to come up with the money. If you did not come up with it by four o'clock, you was going to jail. So that became bond has become an issue in a lot of states. That's why you have, I think it's New York or Chicago. One of them did that is in the no cash bail thing. So it comes into constitutional issues because like I said, in Michigan, the ACLU got involved because you had the black urban person that was $500 had a $500 fine and they couldn't pay it. But then the white guy from the suburbs, he may have had it. And then he gets to get out and you can't. So you're going to jail doing time for whatever amount of time. So you can come up with the money. So I think what they do is they just, the longer you're in there, they try to keep reducing it. And I noticed that in Fulton County, after a certain amount of days, they'll just keep trying to reduce it. You know, the longer that you're in there and they're going to reduce it. It may not be significant. I mean, like I said, I mean, I guess going from three, like going from 5,000 to 3,000, is that really a whole, whole lot? Not really, but I mean, it's a couple thousand off. Then to go from the conspiracy charges that he had to go from 15,000 good bond to 9,000, you know, that's a five with a 5K reduction. Then you had, um, he had a $25,000 bond that went down to 15000 So that's a 10K reduction. So the longer you're in there, you have more of a probability they're going to keep reducing it and keep reducing it. And I've seen it where they reduce it to the point where it ends up being a signature bond. Not for cases like his, but, you know. You said it's an odd. <laughs> Carol, oh, you said it's Chicago. Yeah, they have cat. That was a big thing. Because it does, it becomes a a poverty versus money issue. It's a discrimination issue because somebody with money, they can get out for the exact same crimes that somebody without money has. So I see why they do that every certain, you know, they keep giving you opportunity and opportunity to get out. And um, yeah, where does the bond money go? It's supposed to secure your appearance. So you get your bond back. So when you use a bail bondsman, um, the bail bondsman actually puts up the money. You give your money to the bit. So say it's 10%. 10 so it's 100,000, 10%. I got to give the bail bondsman 10,000. They put up the whole amount. That's why you got people like Dog the Bounty Hunter that come after you for their cash <laughs> because it's for your appearance. But with bail bondsmen, you don't get your money back. So that's it. Now, when you put up a bond, a cash bond, like at court, you typically will get your uh, get your money back. As long as the person like shows up for court and all of that, people put up their property, you know, as surety, they'll put up their homes and all of that. And as long as you come back to court, uh, you, you don't have failure to appear as you show up for trial and all of that, you get your you get all your stuff back. I don't know anything about a rule 22 and Nestle's. So when you do rule 22s in theory, and I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm just going to talk about it in theory, how it works. Cause I've done rule 22s in Georgia. When you do rule 22s, even though they haven't really done that in Nestle's case, for some reason, when you present your rule 22, they put it in a file. Like it's supposed to be public. Whoever asked for a rule 22 is supposed to be public. So if you like, for instance, if you get bored and go to the Trump case, in the Trump case, there were several outlets that tried to do a Rule 22. All of that is filed. 
So I'm assuming maybe they filed it wrong if, if it says a different name under it instead of Rule 22. But um, that's the only thing I could think of. One, you said, I thought he had land to bond to mom. That's what he said. He had land and trust from his granddaughters and that he had access because he still has a relationship with their mom. So I guess it's what nothing but a, some paperwork. So maybe that's, I, but we, what's the land worth though? You got to have land that's worth something. So we don't know what the land is worth. What's on the land? It was the land given to you because it was trash. We don't know. It has to have value. It doesn't, you can't just say I own a piece of, because if that's the case, I go buy a little crappy lot for $2,000 to hold his bond. If you can just use any land, it has to have value to it. Where like if you skip or whatever happens, they, they'll probably sell your land. You said she wanted clickbait and she got it. Oh, I heard my name came up in the live or something yesterday, but I don't, I don't even understand that whole premise. I'm not about to be, again, like I said, I only argue with those that's my equal when it comes to the law. Other than that, it's, it's ridiculous and redundant. So keep living your best life talking about Pam Esquire. But I got a call this morning like, so-and-so was talking about you last night, was dragging everybody all over YouTube. I, I really do not care. I don't need to do that to get uh, any type of clicks or views or anything. You said the land is estimated at 188,000. It's 33 acres and not title. Well, he needs a little bit more than that. <laughs> Looks like he might need a few hundred more thousand. If it's only at 188000 he said his portion to his sister, or he sold his portion to his sister. How y'all know all of this? Who tell, who, who tell, <laughs> I need y'all to tell me, you guys have some high investigative skills. Is there some PIs in here, some FBI agents? How do you guys know all this? Was this in some calls that I missed or was one of, um, Grown woman vibes or somebody that looked into it. Yes, Judge Adams is still at 405. So these are the smaller, the smaller bonds. Nyla. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, how the heck y'all know all this stuff? I'm impressed. <laughs> Not y'all to search the D. I love Nyla. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And y'all saw the house? What? I, I knew. I'm behind. I'm like, what? What are you guys talking about? I got to get I gotta get my game back up. What in the world? Oh, my gosh. I love it. <laughs> you done did a family tree. They see that first twin said, Pam, I did a family tree for Sonya three. <laughs> well, she said her season is up. She said this is the end. She did the season finale. This was the end of her and Nesto. Everybody always thinks you only need 10% to get out. That's not always true. Um, Georgia has a 10% program. Sometimes they'll say 10% or they'll tell you it's good bond. Sometimes you have to pay the entire amount or it's cash or surety, something that can assure that as well. So no, that's not necessarily true. I think a lot of people automatically believe it's 10%, but that is not true. You can pay a bail bondsman. Oftentimes they'll ask for 10 to 12%, but that's because you don't get your money back. But they're going to do it based on the risk, too, because if they put the money up, that's why you had Dog the Bounty, bounty Hunter and all them bounty um, shows that were tracking people down and sending out dogs and all of that, <laughs> trying to get their money back. Because imagine somebody gave you $10,000, but you done put up 100 And then they, they skip, and then they don't come to court, and then your money's just gone. So they go find them. That's what bounty hunters do. You said grown. I thought 
thought he I thought he said he didn't own it. I, I thought you guys correcting me because clearly I am behind and you guys are catching me up. Um, I thought on the phone call when he was discussing it, because he does talk a little in circles and mumbled. So sometimes I miss words or phrases when it comes to his conversations. But I thought he said that he left it when he called his daughter or had Sonia call the daughter on the phone. I thought the conversation went that he left the land to the daughter's kids, which is the grandkids, in a trust. And so in order for him to get it, she would basically have to sign it over to him and that she was going to come up, I guess, to the jail with all the paperwork or something in order for that to happen. That's what I got out of it. No, that ain't what happened. Yeah, he said it was in a trust. Wanda said he was lying. Okay. Yeah, he said it was in a trust, right? Okay, that's what he said. Okay, the favorite one said that's what he said. Miss ATL, he said, that's what I thought too. So yeah, so I never thought it was in his name. I thought it was always in a trust or something for his grandkids. So you guys are saying that there's been some, we had a uh, P.I. Nyla who went and found the actual deed of this land and it's in just somebody else's name and it's not in the trust because the, the deed can say in the trust, Williams Trust or something like that. The name can be on the deed. You don't have to put a trust's name on the deed, but sometimes they do have the trust name on the deed. No trust. Okay, well. Oh, you said all he do is lie. You said he don't know what a trust is. <laughs> Air property. Okay. But he only owes a portion of it. So he owns a portion of the 33 acres. And that portion he put in a trust for his kids. So he don't really technically own it, right? But see, he was saying he needed his daughter to come to sign some stuff over. So I, I figured it wasn't in his name, whatever it was. So you're saying he also will need his sister to sign her portion over if he's going to use the entire value of the land. He said his share, he sold his share for $4,000 to his, oh, jeez. So he don't even own it. The babies don't own it. Nobody owns it. I believe it was said he sold his part to his sister. Okay. Thank you, Miss Gina. We love you back. Thank you guys for keeping me updated. You know, I was since I was gone for three weeks, I was so behind on my work. It was crazy. Every time I thought about going live, I was like, no, you better get you better get your, your stuff in order, get this firm in order. But you had clients mad. New Orleans said we saw the whole house. He only owned 16 percent of it and he sold that 16 percent to his sister for four thousand dollars. OK, I got to go check check Nyla's um, live out then. That is. So and he calls everybody bums and. You don't have furniture and you guys don't have anything to do. Then what Sonya allegedly got mad at, because I caught a piece of her live, she got mad over the phone call of which it was in July of last year. And he said, you can't afford him. And then I guess there was in the other video where there were alluding to stay in your place, like we got the wife. You know, you're not the wife and you try to take the wife's place or something like that. I think those were the things she said she was upset about. I just call Cap. It had to be. So if, if if it is true where she doesn't want to talk to him anymore, I feel like it's something else. Because that just seems like, how did you not know? He's He said it a thousand times that it's only me and you. Nobody else want me. So we, she already knows he's he was only dealing with her at this point because you were the last resort. So what else can he say that would be offensive? But you know, to each whatever it takes, sis. I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm happy if that's what you decided to do. But 
somebody tell me i got you got we gotta stick to each other that's all you all i got i ain't got nobody else i don't want nobody that just want me because i'm just because i'm there so that means if you had a choice I wouldn't be your choice. If you had to make a decision, I wouldn't be who you decide on. Like literally, if it was me, Shirley, Susie, whoever else, I wouldn't even be in that running. You just messing with me. That You just messing with me because I'm all that you have. That's more offensive to me than I can't afford you. You can't afford yourself. Like how you going to talk about somebody you in there being accused of taking changing titles around and using folks credit cards and all of that that's what you in, in jail for are you talking about i can't afford sound like you can't afford nothing because you're not going to get it for yourself that's what it sound like allegedly that's what you're being accused of i'm just saying i do think sonya got upset about that car but i don't think she's going nowhere <laughs> I guess. Love Love says she is lying. She's not leaving that man. It's a plot with Sylvia. I guess. You know, I just, I'm trying to talk about the law. She like it. I love it. She couldn't have been too bothered by that comment when Dre said a long time ago that he only deal with well to do women. That is true. There were so many different, and he's, you right. <laughs> you surely is right. He, you know me from the inside out. You know my character. You know everything about man. You sure know your partner. He was like co-signing everything they were saying negative about her. And this is what pisses you off. But she also said her friend was like, didn't understand why she was mad at first neither. So whatever it takes, girl, whatever it takes. We, we happy for you. We happy for you. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we're we're gonna miss not seeing you do this. Hey, old man. We're going to miss all of those antics on those video cards, but you know, all good things must come to an end. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all see it just like me. They sit there talking about the weather. So, I mean, he sometimes he just sit on the phone like, okay, okay. <laughs> we're gonna miss all that we're gonna we're gonna we are totally going to miss all the theatrics of the video calls so don't give up on them sis you like don't give up on them go ahead and go back and see them. we're gonna miss those visits Why are y'all hollering, y'all? Hmm. What else I want to talk about? I'm about to get off here. So y'all got me acting up. <laughs> you said they'll be back. I need a ponytail. Yeah, I don't have one right now. I don't have any. Let me see if I can have a uh, fake ponytail. Okay, I don't have one in here. <laughs> she did. It was real. It would be so random. It was just, it was a lot of like focus, like ADHD focusing, like type, you know. It was just kind of like, he'd be talking about something else and she just randomly be like, Silver, I got on blue. I see all the gray in your beard. Y'all know those videos are wild. We're like, what are you, huh? You guys know I'm telling the truth here. No lies told. 
<laughs> oh gosh okay it's 1700 of you guys i know you guys have already hit the like button and you have subscribed if you have not done so before. And, and, and another thing you know the first thing they say make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button that's <laughs> yeah. what it's all about after they get them dogs and you out of it, before they dog you out, that's the first thing they say. If you like this video, make sure you hit. You have one minute on. remaining. All right, y'all. We hit the hour mark. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. I hope I answered your DMs and your questions. Um, You guys asked me about the the uh, count coming, the charge coming back. So we went over that. For those of you that need to hit that rewind. And then you guys asked me something about Sylvia, but I don't really know. I'm not that familiar with that, but I did tell you guys about the Rule 22. And then Sonia, who said that she's out of here and this was the grand finale and we don't need to talk about her anymore because she don't want to deal with him no more. Nyla has a copy of Dion Mother's Divorce Seal Decree with Nesto Make Six. I could totally see that because I did see a, um, I wasn't sure if it was him. See, that's the problem with his name being so common. I did run across something where it looked like he had, he may have had another wife, but Nyla didn't crack the code. Okay, Nyla, Nyla's over there. She's not playing with y'all. She is not playing with you guys. Shout out to Nyla. You guys aren't subscribed over there at Grown Women's Vibe. You better get into it for this Ernest Williams stuff. I'm a little bit more boring over here. I just try to go over the court cases and documents and help everyone understand this here legal process. And then my personality is just, I can be a little goofy sometimes on top of it, but. Yes, his name is very, thank you, Miss Gina. I am so glad that you subscribed to the channel. Yes, Alice, thank you so much for all of your support. Which charge is the most serious? Um, the one that he has now is an R he has R A P E charge and other S A charges. So those would be the most serious. Um, that carries the most because you can get a life sentence for that under Georgia law. It used to be the death penalty, but they don't that that was deemed unconstitutional. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. We'll talk soon, Lord willing. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Love each and every one of you. Hit that like button on the way out.